Jeep back here. Yep, in the back of the corner there. Save these, and if you ever need a bolt, you have now a stud made into a bolt. Still a little warm, still a little warm. That's why we wear our gloves around here. Gloves and glasses, and glasses and gloves. <laughs> She's almost out. And there it is. Stud removal number one. So we try going for more, number two. How many more of those you got? We got this one we got to do here next. This one here, I don't think we're going to be able to because trying to weld, there's a gap. Yeah. There's a gap inside there, so I can't. You get it. Well, then you know, I may be able to. I may be able to. If I can get the weld wire all the way through, I can build I can build this up first. Uh -huh. Here, let me do this. I'm gonna build this up just on the stud here. See that little bit of raise up on there. Okay, let's try this, huh? What do you think? Maybe. Should we try this? cool a little bit before we weld the other stud on it. Right now that's molten. Let's try this one up here now since we're already out here now. We're going to take this and tap it with a finger. Loosen it a little bit. Okay. Let's try this one up here like a barrier. Alright, so, stud removal number two, here we go again. Come on. 
night. Come on, baby. It's coming. We'll, we'll put a little sweet sauce on it, you know? <laughs> So there's a little, little stud removal explanation for you all yeah, out there man. in TV land. <laughs> <laughs> how, to re how to remove a broken bolt. Now you can put some penetration oil on it too if you want to. Some lube? Yeah, lube it up. Lube it up for removal, not insertion. Not insertion. <laughs> See that how that works there, Bunny Bunny? Yeah, it's pretty good. Come on, baby. Come on, it's starting to freeze. It's starting to cool down. You know what we're going to do? We're going to put a little punch. Warm it up. Oh, you are going to lube it up. You are going to lube it. A little removal of penetration removal here. Ooh. Smoking hot. Saucy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now let's do this. Boom, bada, bing, bong. There we go. Ooh, nice and smooth lubricated. Look at that, huh? So check that out. See that? How that works right there? Like that? Like that? Check that out. Crazy man, crazy. Broken stud removal out of a 1950 Mercury door. Okay, so you gotta basically replace this whole door. Yeah, the whole bottom of it is rotted. That's what I got to do because we're doing that two-door conversion on a four-door 49 Merc. We're putting a two-door 49 Merc in the place of a four-door. Are all the doors is rotted? Are you going to pick, like, the best ones? Yeah, well, this is what you can find. This is what you sent me. So I put a lot of hours in rebuilding the whole door bottom first before we even do the conversion. So the stud's coming out there. Look at that, huh? Okay, we saved, we got two out of the three out. There what about is. all the rest in there, babe? Well, that's how they be cut out. The whole bottom of the store from here, all the way across down to here. So, look at that, we got free flowing threads in here now. So we know the stud is turning in there. That's what we're doing, we're trying to bring all the busty threads back through the threaded plate that uh, hinge mounts to. It's moving. We're getting little pieces at a time is what we're doing here. Worst comes to worst, and we can't get this out of there. What I'll do is I'll drill it out, and I'll weld a nut inside there, so we have the threaded the the threads for the nut will be inside the, uh, the housing, you know. A little longer to, to to do it, but guess what? We got her out of there. <laughs> right, right, or right. 
Look at that. Just, now we got two more to go. <laughs> the problem with that is that it still has the uh, sheet metal over the top of this side. There it is. Oh, fucker. <laughs> there it is. Fucker. I got yeah. it. Is it Remember, hot? It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Boom. So we got them all out of there. See that? Damn it. <laughs> but we saved all this threaded holes. And then one nut to spare. 